As I say, my Kodiak runs around 12.5 volt. And then on the AGM battery, battery status of charge, AGM, 12.5 volt is 80. So, the Kodiak, Kodiak never moves my battery to 100%. And I'm a very intensive energy user. I use my Kodiak for air conditioning with an air conditioner and for heating with a heater, electric heater. And I need that extra power. And I think what you'll see in the next video, or in this video, what you'll see in this video after this discussion is that it actually takes takes it below 10.5 volt. That's zero. So, uh, I can't have a battery in a van that's not charged up to 100% and that's not protected to stop using it at roughly 50%. I just cannot have that. I may, I may choose to run it lower, but that's my choice. I ran in the tape. You're going to see it's Friday night to Saturday morning. And I just let the heater run. And I did what I was supposed to do. I slept for the whole night. And I woke up. There was still charge. But... Basically, the AGM was at zero. So, uh, I am going to buy an AB switch. I'm going to put my soul coming in as the feed. And, and let's say A will go to the Kodiak generator. And the B side of the switch will go to my AGM battery. And I'll actually charge those independently. And I'm going to run them independently. So I'm going to have to buy a solar controller for the AGM. I'm going to have to buy an inverter for the AGM. And I'm going to have to do the electrical distribution system. For the 12 volts, in my, in my case, for the 110 volts. So, uh, not what I was hoping for when I bought the Kodiak, but I came to the c conclusion that the Kodiak just doesn't treat my AGM battery properly. I'm not getting the power that is capable for me to get out of the AGM. With my power use, I cannot not take the AGM to 100% power. I just need power. So I'm gonna to have to run the air conditioner on my, off my AGM system. And I'm going to have to run the air conditioner of the Kodiak system. So now in the van, I will have two separate electrical systems. And if you remember, my original intention was to have the Kodiak do it all. And for a power user like me, it is not able to do it. I'm also going to include a video of how I stress the Kodiak really bad a Saturday to Sunday night and uh, so look forward to seeing that particular video as well it's 6 30 in the morning Saturday in Georgia 
Temperature is 36 degrees. <laughs> And uh, the Kodiak solar generator is a bit confused because it's reading zero and you know it's not because the inverter is on. And it's reading 10.94. That means I pretty much finished off the AVG, AGM battery and I will most likely disconnect the AGM battery today so as to more quickly build up the the lithium battery. I'm going to turn on the oh yeah this is the lights on it one green light so I just turned on the heater and I'm taking, it's building up it's around 400 watts of energy, the voltage dropped down to 10.5. Oh, basically, and I'm drawing 42 amps, and it's indicating three amber lights, two red, which is five lights, which is means that on the lithium side, I have 50% of the power left, and the voltage 10.38 on the load, and I can control the. When I actually go to sleep, I'll adjust it to uh, about 400 watts. I toggled it up a little bit now to get it going. It doesn't matter. It's, it's still drawing. I measured the voltage on the AGM battery in 11.47. Look at this chart. AGM battery, zero power left, 10.05, 10 percent power left, 11.51. You know, I can't run the AGM for tonight, so it's disconnected. Put in a little box so the positive lead doesn't touch anything. And now I'm on solar power in the Nikon lithium. The lithium battery is being charged up. Shows 10.94 volts. And if we turn it on. 10. 9.2 but it shows 6 lights 60% of the lithium battery is still in it and as a lithium battery being charged by the solar power all the energy is going to go into the lithium and the lithium is much more much more efficient or as you'd like to say quicker it's sucking in the solar energy and today I'm not going to run the van much so that's the story of the battery and how it's going to run tonight <laughs>